That's right, in the year 2023, a new Easter egg on Black Ops 1 zombies over 11 years old has just been discovered by some incredible people in the community. And with this Easter egg going back to 2011, this teased Nuketown as a future zombies map and also the concept of aliens in the storyline which evolved into the Apophicons. Because World at War and Black Ops 1 was so deeply rooted in conspiracy theories and government secrets in the storyline, this is what makes this particular find so intriguing. But let's dive straight into this, and this was found by Rich Killer and Coldstone the Gamer. Two legends in the community have solved so many ciphers and other little things in zombies over the years. So massive props and full credit goes to Rich Killer, who compiled all of his discovery into an awesome thread on r slash cod zombies, so I'll leave that link below. The Easter egg in question is one of those tiny details in maps that you would never ever notice, and it's literally one of those pieces of paper that you find lying on the ground in zombies maps. He found the texture file for this within the third DLC pack for Black Ops 3, and it was named ZM Ascension Pentagon Paper Set C. Now here it is on screen. Obviously pretty difficult to make out, but this is no ordinary piece of paper. The detail on this is so surprising that this could not have been made up. And after talking with Coldstone the Gamer, both transcribed this document and found it to be a potentially real US government document. It was ripped straight from a letter that was sent from Vannevar Bush to President Truman in July 5th, 1947. This document is part of a website that documents a ton of things that all relate to a conspiracy group called Majestic. 12. Things get really exciting once you delve into who they are. They are a purported organization that appears in UFO conspiracy theories, with this organization being the code name of an alleged secret committee of scientists, military leaders, and government officials formed in 1947 by an executive order by the US president at the time, President Truman, to facilitate recovery and investigation of alien spacecraft. And in July 1947, a alien flying saucer crash apparently occurred at Roswell and it had been concealed, as well as there'd be a massive discussion on how this recovered alien technology could be exploited and how America should engage with alien life forms in the future. Now, relating all of that to the Aether storyline, we know that Area 51 and Nuketown Zombies were the home where atomic bomb testing took place. Now, this early on in the Aether story, there were so many real life conspiracy theories that were being tied into zombies with this. Other examples going back to Doris, where we had Die Glock, which was a supposed top secret German scientific technological device, which was supposedly this massive bell that had an anti-gravitational effect. It could become a time machine or part of an anti-gravity program for a flying saucer. I'm pretty sure the inspiration for the shape of the teleporters in Doris came from Die Glock. Going back to this document found in game, Coldstone noticed that the game's version of this was altered slightly, where the signature on the original document Eisenhower was changed, meaning Triarch had deliberately altered this in order for someone to find it. Since he discovered them in the DLC pack for Gord Crovy, you'd expect it to be on Gorod Krovi, but it's not. It's actually on a multiplayer map for BO3. But because the prefix for the file name includes the phrases ASC and PENT, which is short for Ascension and the Pentagon, and there's a chance that they could be on those maps. So in Black Ops 1 Ascension, this paper does exist, and you can find it on the floor near the Juggernaug machine. And if you jump on the map 5 and Black Ops 1, you can find this document on the desk in the spawn room. Since it existed in the files of Black Ops 3, surely it would exist in the Black Ops 3 version of Ascension, and the document is next to Juggernaug on the wall here. There is obviously a lot more detail than Black Ops 1, where you can read absolutely everything and you can see the signature. A trial wouldn't go through the effort of remastering this piece of paper and the textures if they didn't want people to find the Easter egg that was contained within it. That being the information written on the document as well as the signature. Now, the original signature was Eisenhower. Thanks to Reddit user Lord Protector, he worked out that the signature was changed to someone called James Dargy. Now James Dargy is a real person and worked at Treyarch as an artist on both Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. And when you look at his portfolio of artistic Easter eggs in Black Ops 1 and 2, we're talking the imagery you see from the Kino projector, including screens that never made it into the full game, such as full designs of Dr. Maxis and experiments on Fluffy, just as examples. And it's very likely that he's responsible for putting these secret government documents in Ascension, as well as altering the documents to have his signature on it. So with Treyarch altering a real-life government document to have a Treyarch signature, signature on it as an easter egg, why is this important to the Aether story back then? Well, it's all around the discussion of the atomic bombs and aliens within the Aether storyline. And this secret conspiracy group Majestic 12 play a much more important role in the Black Ops storyline than you probably realize. As discussed here on the channel many, many years ago during Black Ops 1's original release, this conspiracy group exists within the terminal of Black Ops 1, with the user account name of Dr. Vannevar Bush, who has several conversations between him and a person called J. Robert Oppenheimer, who's often credited 
credited as the father of the atomic bomb for his role in the Manhattan Project, the first American undertaking that developed the first nuclear weapons. Now, this obviously links into Nuketown and Nuketown Zombies, but even directly correlates to Black Ops Cold War, with the main villain Perseus being a Soviet spy who allegedly infiltrated the Manhattan Project to steal secrets related to the nuclear bomb. He was never caught and may have worked his way into the highest echelons of the US government. As pointed out by Rich Killer, the Manhattan Project was set to take place within the area of White Sands and Sandia Base, which is mentioned in the Ascension document. And the events in that document is exactly how Nuketown is created. With the seeds of this being put in the game back in 2011, we then go to 2012 with Black Ops 2 and a look at Nuketown Zombies itself with the loading screen giving the most amount of connection to this document that you've seen yet. With the document in Black Ops 1 Ascension, which describes of an alien spacecraft conspiracy in the exact same area that Nuketown is in. And more or less, Treyarch teased exactly what was going to be coming in the future, nearly two years before we the players experienced it. And if you are unsure if Majestic 12 were more canically involved in the Aether story beyond that, then the terminal conversations between Vannevar Bush and Robert Oppenheimer gave us some of the earliest major Aether discoveries in the story, with the names of some of the soldiers from Verrucht, as well as a bunch of crazy information from Maxis's data servant in Doris, giving us the locations of several 115 meteors such as Shino Numa, Tunguska, Groom Lake, Doris, and the Moon, and even the origins of the ray gun prototype, with the designs being seized from Shino Numa, and the prototype of the Wonder Woffet DG2 being created by Dr. Edward Richtofen. But there's proof that Majestic 12 are canon in Black Ops 2, as there are quotes from Samuel Stuhlinger on transit, where he alludes to alien conspiracies, subtly references Majestic 12 themselves. I'd rather be judged by 12 than eaten by 6. And then when we look ahead in Aether from Black Ops 3 onwards, where things started to get crazy in the storyline with the Apothecans and the Keepers, which you could describe as aliens, that all links all the way back to everything that Majestic 12 were investigating when it came to proving alien life, as well as the discussions around nuclear bombs and Nuketown. And even the password for one of the Majestic 12 members in the terminal is Trinity, and it's the name of a street sign in Nuketown Zombies. To me, this final is absolutely biblical because this just proves that so many little minute details on maps hold such relevance that wouldn't conspire until several years later when we got future Black Ops games. And the fact that the document was altered with a real Treyarch developer signature on it was even more of an emphasis for us the players to notice the document and pay attention to the information it held. And this all delves into the origins of the Aether story when it was so driven by conspiracy theories real life insights that the community would pick apart and really tell their own story using real conspiracy theories. And that's something that Treyarch would look and see and really base the storyline going forward off, which was absolutely amazing back in the day and made the whole idea of theory building really alive because it was all based on real life historic events that we could look back in the past and relate as to where Treyarch could be going. And in all honesty, that is something that I kind of miss. I feel like this origins of the Aether story is why people love zombies so much because there was so much mystery behind it. Genuine cleverness sprinkled all throughout how they went about telling the story. Clearly, that is something that shines with this Easter egg because it's a detail so minute on a piece of paper. Treyarch did something very similar with Classified where we had some documents that existed in five on the map and also some brand new ones that contained some very specific details that basically teased that we were going to be getting the return of Broken Arrow, which we did in Alpha Omega. And that was a group that was touched on a tiny bit in Black Ops 2 Zombies, but was never touched upon again. The Treyarch essentially remastered this Easter egg in Black Ops 3 in the hopes that one of us would notice this detail and start going down the rabbit hole, which led us to know what we now know about Majestic 12 in the zombie storyline. I really hope that with the next Black Ops Zombies, we see Treyarch really go back to their roots with what made the zombie storyline so interesting with all of this real life history history and conspiracy being woven in. Absolutely phenomenal find here by Rich Killer and Cold Stone the Gamer. Full credit goes to them and I'll link their incredible post down below in the description so you guys can give it a read. Go ahead and drop them some love. But thank you for watching guys. I'll see you next time.